everyone and welcome to this video on the Tenant T500E. The aim of the video is to show you how to use and maintain the machine. Hope you enjoy it. The Tenant T500 is battery powered and the batteries are located here. You just access the centre of the machine, lift the top tank and you'll see you've got six volt batteries, four of, and that's your power. To charge your T500 you will find most machines have an onboard battery charger located just here and this is simply plugged in to a normal socket and your machine will charge over 12 hours so you, you have to carry a full charge out over 12 hours. The T500E has an 85 litre solution tank for your clean water and chemicals should you wish to use it. Do make sure the chemical is scrubber dryer safe. The point here to fill your solution tank which is located at the bottom you have two. You have the front point here where you can fill uh, typically with a, a hose pipe uh, but you could use buckets if you wished and then using a hose pipe it's actually easier at the back of the machine the second fill point is located just here where you can see you can pop a hose in to fill it. As the tank's filling you will actually be able to see the water rise up this clear hose so this is the hose to empty the clean water tank but it also acts as the measuring point for where your water's full. So you would simply take it off and let it drain if you needed to empty it. This model of the T500E has uh, disc brushes fitted. Uh, they're located here at the brush deck. There's two brushes um, across the width and you, to remove these you'll just simply press, typically with your foot, you'll press this yellow spring and that will remove your brush. It's a polypropylene brush in this instance, uh, which is used in many applications, but you could opt for pad boards if you wished with uh, different pads that you can choose from. You can notice here that you've got a brush wear indicator, the yellow bristles. So when your main bristle shortens to that length, it's time for a new brush. To reinstall the brush, you will use these uh, yellow springs here. So you just simply open up the springs and then line it up with the hub of the brush and push on like so. There is a viewing window just here. Push firm and the brush is located. At the rear of the machine you have the squeegee bar um, just here. This is obviously to vacuum and uh, dry the floor as the machine passes over. So you will need to remove the squeegee bar for a few different reasons. So just undo these two yellow wing nuts and pull the squeegee bar off. You will need to access the squeegee rubbers underneath here. Two rubbers, the front and the rear. The rear is the one that deflects on the floor and effectively creates the drying action on the floor, a bit like a windscreen wiper. The front one is really just to create the vacuum within the bar and to let through the water at these points. These rubbers actually have got uh, working edges, so the rear squeegee has got the inner working edge here, and then at the back you've got the second working edge. You've also got two more working edges, the other side of the rubber, so you've got four obviously all together. So you turn this round three more times from when it's first installed. The front one uh, doesn't wear so quickly because it glides on the floor and this will pretty much evenly wear across. So you've got just one more side at the top. So again, you turn that one over. To remove the squeegee rubbers, you need to undo these outer two wing nuts, which basically release a clamp that hold the rubbers. And they will loosen, you'll feel it. And then if you turn it over, this part of the squeegee kind of comes out, so your rubbers are now looser. So now the clamp's fully released, you can just pull the rubber off gently, off these kind of notches, and remove the rubber. You can then turn it round and reinstall.
So your dirty water is vacuumed up through the squeegee bar, up the vacuum hose, into the dirty tank here at the top. So this is your dirty water tank located at the top and you can access that at the top here and you'll be able to see there that you've got a ball and float valve which will let you know when the tank is full. When the tank is full we need to empty it and the hose to drain the tank located here at the bottom of the dirty water tank is the hose just hooked on here. And you'll simply undo the cap, drop it to your drain, and the gravity will do the rest and the tank will just drain out. You will then need to flush the tank through to make sure it's clean, make sure there's no residue left on the bottom of the tank. So to start the Tenant T500E, you use the ignition kind of key, the switch. Just turn it clockwise. You'll see here now you've got the lights showing you the power is um, on and this is where your controls are so we've got a few controls here this one here on the left is for adjustment of the brush pressure so essentially the amount of uh, kind of weight onto the brush deck on this model the E you've got two, two, two options so you've got the one or the two LEDs okay if you use it on the higher brush pressure you will um, potentially get a harder scrub on the floor um, and it can be useful for problem areas or maybe for a deep clean but it's best practice really to leave it on the lower pressure um, because you will save on your battery and your brush wear. On the right hand side you have the tap sign which is for water so you've got some levels here to adjust your water flow so that's how much water is coming through the brush head and you can see you can go to three and then off. So if you were just scrubbing over an area, you might want the water off after you've put the water down. Typically, it's probably on one or two most of the time. The button here in the middle is a quick start, really. So on pressing this button, the brush deck, which is actuated, will actually lower itself for you, ready for use. And the machine's all ready to use. The only additional thing you have to do is lower your squeegee vacuum. On the left hand side you have the traction control for the power to the actual wheels of the machine. So how fast or slow you want the machine to propel forward or backwards. You can see here the hair and the tortoise. And again, for scrubbing really you want to be kind of towards the tortoise because you want to be going a slow walking pace typically. If we've got the brush and the vacuum up and we just need to transport the machine, then you may wish to go a little faster towards the hair. I mentioned forward and reverse. This is on the other side of the machine over here. You can see the arrows indicating forward and reverse. And that's just a simple switch. So forward is uh, obvious. Reverse you can use, um, but don't use it when the squeegee bar is down because you will uh, potentially pull the squeegee rubbers out or damage the squeegee rubbers. Um, so if you're vacuum down, then it's always in forward. To propel the machine forward, whether you're transporting the machine or actually scrubbing, it's this silver lever here located behind the handle. So you just pull that towards the handle with your fingers and you'll engage the power on the wheels and move forward. So you've got the emergency button here, so you just press that in the event of a hazard and it will shut all power off the machine. The machine will flash its LEDs and its hazard warning light at you. Once the hazard is clear and it's safe to do so, you will reset this. So you turn the machine off, turn the emergency stop button clockwise, and it will kind of pop out. So it's reset, and then we can turn the machine back on. And ensuring it's safe to do so, as I say, it's all reset and ready to go. Also on this panel here, you have a little meter here, uh, which is what we call the hours meter. So it records the hours that the machine is scrubbing. And it just ticks over there hour by hour.
so that concludes the video for training on the T500E. Hope you've enjoyed it, hope it's been useful. Until next time, thanks very much. Bye-bye.